The book was only available in junior highs and high schools, but now it's not available anywhere. It is, though, still under review, and it all started when a parent voiced his concerns to the board. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas is the book that's caused a stir in the community and on Twitter. Thomas's award-winning young adult novel is about a young African-American girl who juggles life in a poor neighborhood but goes to a suburban prep school. The girl sees a white police officer shoot her unarmed best friend. Today, the book has been pulled off the shelves in Katie ISD after a parent complained about its language and content. I had a child that came to me and said that uh, I didn't think I should be reading this book. Parent Anthony Downs read excerpts to the board. The F word, and I will not repeat that here, but it is spelled out in the, in the book. I wish he wasn't that kind of but busy. I stopped at page 13 of 444. My question to this board is who reviews the books that go into junior high schools? The district says the book was not banned, but was taken from its libraries because of the language, not the content. The district stated the district does reserve the right to remove any book or material which is, quote, pervasively vulgar. Our review of the book in question shows it to include pervasive vulgarity and racially insensitive language. Some students who are for the book put up a petition to bring the book back, while some parents say the book had educational value. I think it deprives them. Of, an ex of a different kind of experience that they probably will never know in their own lives, and I think it's enlightening. Others say, I don't have an issue with the African American, like I want that out and about with kids, but I do have an issue with cussing and things like that. The district says it is in the process of creating a committee that will review this book again. That committee will ultimately decide whether or not it's on the shelves. In Katie, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Roseanne, thank you.